Hello, my name is Amber Lee and I am the CEO and one of the co-founders of Visual Country. Um, we started the company seven years ago, uh, just about this year, it's our seventh year, um, and I founded it with our creative director, Megan Signoli. I moved to New York uh, because it's New York and I, ever since I was 16, I wanted to move here. I wanted to be too many things, probably a million different things. Um, I always had a new business that I wanted to start, but at the end of the day, it always came down to being art and commerce and the bridging of those two. It definitely varies, but I focus a lot on the sales side and the strategy side of the business, so I'm usually focused mostly on that. Um, as well as kind of organizing the team and what everyone's working on. Um, but I also like to dedicate some time to just investigating new technologies and new um, ways of doing things. I would say the hardest part of having your own business is one of the best parts too, which is um, not having a boss. Uh, but the hard part of it is that there's no one above you to kind of like seek counsel or advisement. Um, so you have to look externally for mentorship and counsel. The proudest moment for me since owning this business, I think has been opening up our current studio because it was such a labor of love of picking out you know, every outlet and every wall and fixture throughout. And every time I walk into it, I just feel like really proud of what we put together. I think the best way to stay relevant is to constantly be exploring new new techniques and styles and um, always be learning for sure and investing in your creative um, both within the branded work that you're doing exploring new mediums and new styles but also investing in your own creative don't quit your job until you're making money <laughs> that's my best advice it's my only advice uh, my dream job would be maybe being a lawyer. I always wanted to be a lawyer. I love watching law shows. Um, and then my second would be in TV, maybe writing law shows. <laughs> Um, for me, the hardest part would be balance, you know, balancing your ambitions at work with wanting to spend time at home and just having to wear a lot of hats. Uh, I think any parent will tell you one of the hardest parts about having a kid is that it just doesn't stop. It's like nonstop. <laughs> of uh, balancing it all. One of the people that I looked up to most growing up was Colin Hopper. He's one of the business owners of the sports store that I worked at. I sold hockey equipment for a long time in high school and college, and I just always admired how he created a very like family, community, feeling organization that people got really excited to come to work at every day. On TV, I like anything, I'll watch anything. Dropped at Diva, watched it, the whole thing. <laughs> bad. It's really bad, but kind of awesome. Someone's career that inspires me today, there's many, but one of my friends, Betsy, is the CEO and co-founder of a company called Tiny Organics, and she's also a mother and CEO, and I'm just inspired by what they're doing and like all of the growth and traction that they have made in the last like, couple years, and um, yeah, it's like a very inspiring career, so I'm excited to see what she does next. Honestly, I don't think about the competition as much as one probably should. Um, we're really focused internally and just like growing. I definitely look at other creators in the space for inspiration on kind of what's coming up and what people are working on. But um, there's, I don't think about beating them out. I just think about creating great work. Don't forget to like and subscribe by liking and subscribing and there's a bell when you see it you gotta ding it it's important and uh we look forward to showing you more content soon